Okay, in this next section, we're going to look at viewports. And initially, we're just looking at viewports in model space. Now, I have my own sort of personal opinion on viewports in model space. I'm not a great fan, and to be honest with you, I never really use them. And even when it comes to 3D, you'll notice that the 3D manual will make a lot of use of model space viewports. Me, I kind of stick to the one viewport. Um, my whole kind of thinking on viewports is it splits the screen up too much and makes the screen smaller than than necessary, you know. So um, that's my own sort of personal opinion. But you know, you can take a look at them and see what you think yourself. So I'll just show you how to how to use the viewports and, and that now. So um, if you look here on the ribbon, there's a a view view tab here, and all my nice little icons here associated with viewports are are up here. We could also go to tools and toolbars, AutoCAD, and there's a viewport, viewports toolbar as well we could use. Um, also as well, don't forget the minus toolbar command, if I type that in, and enter in the toolbar name, viewports, and hit return, and then say show, we can pop up that. So if you haven't got this menu on across the top, you can access the toolbar from the command line. Okay, so I'll just X out of that. We'll use this this little option up here, much the same thing. So we've got viewport configurations. We can come in here and instantly kind of pick them if we know what they're like. But it might be better just when you're starting off uh, until you get used to them, and um, just to select that new option, so new viewports because you can pop in here and you can actually see a, a little display here of of what you're actually going to get. So, you know, you might four equal is the, the first one on figure 21 of page 15 that we see. And if I click OK to that, we get this screen set up into four. And by clicking on the screen, you see it kind of going live heavy border comes around to tell me that I'm in this and you can see your cursor in this particular one so I can zoom into this and that's in there and I can kind of place this here and similarly then do that And there, so you can kind of get four views. <clears throat> Simple and kind of plain enough. Now, it would be nice if you could actually print those out, all those four views, but you can't. Which is why, you kind of see it as a bit of a waste of time. All you're kind of really doing is reducing the size of your your screen area. If you look, that's all I can work on at the moment, that area. And I kind of said, so why would I want to reduce the screen size any more than it is? Uh, so that's why I'm not a big fan of of these model space viewports. So you can't print out them all. You can only print out one viewport at a time. So if you're in this one and you select print, that's all you're going to get. Same here, same here and here. So you're only going to get one viewport printing at a time. So not a great fan of, of model space viewports. Um, however, when it comes to paper space, we'll be using them extensively and they're... Uh, best things since sliced bread. They're really, really good and really useful. So we'll be using them extensively in in paper space. However, model space, totally down to you whether you kind of use them or not. You know, we can kind of split them up into then three horizontal. You can kind of change them on your own. Two horizontal, two vertical. You can change them all for your own sort of needs. Um, yeah, uh, and if you make a change in this, let's say I delete all that stuff, it deletes obviously in this because you're looking at the same same drawing. You know, if I do a control Z when I'm over here, it doesn't matter, it's still, it still kind of works, it's still the same. So you're working in the same drawing, all it does is actually just show you a different, like from a different camera angle if you like. Pop back here, go back to a single viewport and we're back to where we were from the start. Um, so simple enough, not not too overly complicated viewports just at this stage. Um, have a little look at it, see what you think yourself. 
like I say, I'm I'm not a major fan of it, and I'll kind of be concentrate more on on paper space viewports than than these model space viewports. So there's a little exercise at the end of that as well. Maybe you could have a go at that anyway. Okay, doke.